mean operator game. <laughs> what is up, everybody? My name is Dom, and this is the Home Safety Hotline. Originally, a couple of months ago, we played this game here on the channel, a demo version of this game, where basically you're fielding people's incoming phone calls and basically almost working like a, t a type of poison control. Okay, except poison control only deals with poisons. This shit, the Home Safety Hotline, deals with all kinds of diabolical shit. Demons, mold, other miscellaneous bullshit! You already know I'm gonna pop off! So let's run this shit and see what's popping. Oh! The developer did send me a key to play this early, so shout out to the dev. Let's run this bitch and see what's popping. If y'all are enjoying the daily gameplay, you know what to do! Hit the shit! Thank you! Let's hit this motherfucker. Yes! Motherfucker! Yeah! Woo! Okay, y'all, here we go! Here we go. Okay! We just booted directly into the game. Apparently, we're playing as guest number 3036. And I'm opening up the hot... Oh, wait. Oh, this starts the shit. Oh, fuck! Okay. I didn't have any kind of training. Unless this is the training. Okay, I really should... I don't know. I, I just clicked the first set. I did, I did not expect to go right into the game. Okay, I'm clocking in. I don't know. I, I just... I, I don't know why. I don't know why I thought that was something else. But there was a bunch of other shit. On there and wait a minute. Can I go back out here? Oh f wait, wait, I, I feel like I should do the other shit first. I feel like I should do the other shit first. There was a lot of stuff on there that I just totally skipped. Like my mailbox, for instance. Oh yeah, okay. See this, see this, see this? I feel like maybe we should look at this. Welcome, HSH Corporate. Welcome to the Home Safety Hotline family. We are pleased to have you aboard as our brand new home safety hotline responder. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina, and she will be calling you today to brief you on your duties. And we'll be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder, responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more qualify to receive a daily employee coupon. Work hard and you will be rewarded incredibly. Okay, what's this? Video files on the desktop. Attention call team. Due to an error in our archival network, some of you may notice that video files from our video archive are appearing on your desktops. Disregard these, please. They will be cleaned up in due time. Okay, so there's not supposed to be any kind of video files on my main screen, but there is one. Here's a television commercial. What is it? Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death from common household hazards. Hazards such as house fires. Flooded. Black mold. Metamorphosis. Who's that metamorphosizing motherfucker? Don't be a statistic. Call the home safety helpline and help keep your family safe. Okay, so yeah, y'all saw that diabolical ghoul in the background. On the off chance that y'all missed the demo of this game when I played it a couple months ago, that's the kind of shit I'm talking about when I say diabolical ghoulish shit. Now we can start the game. Okay, so this is what I was doing originally on accident, but now that we've gone through the other stuff on the computer, we're actually ready to get started. Here we go, Monday. Now, low-key, how hard could this job be? I really don't feel like it'll start off diabolical. I mean, maybe it will, but I can imagine that on the first day, I'm just going to be fielding normal phone calls. Okay, people calling in about a house fire, bed bugs, bees, black mold, everything I'll be able to identify quickly and easily. Okay, at least that's the idea. A gopher, okay, house fly, house spider. I feel like all of these I can figure out without any kind of additional information. Okay, let me listen in. Who's calling? Hello, hello? Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. Oh, my, this is my boss. Is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Okay, so there you go. Easy enough. All I'm doing is fielding calls from callers and making sure they don't do anything stupid as hell or that I don't send them the wrong information for the wrong kind of issue. Let's listen in. Who's our first caller? I'm assuming this is a real caller now. John here. My wife insisted 
I call this number. What's up, boss man? It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coffin to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Okay, specks of dirt Please hold it. in the kitchen. That's what we're looking for. Now, I'm guessing that that is going to be identified as black mold. Now, the reason I'm able to do this one correctly <laughs> is because this is one of the questions that came up in the demo. And I got it wrong. And y'all let my dumb ass up in the comment section. Okay, you motherfuckers think you're so smart. You ain't, but you think you is. And I think you're probably right. It is black mold. Okay, so let me go ahead. Send this join in. Let's submit it. Okay, successfully sent to the client, good job. Now, I don't really know if they tell you if you were right or wrong until the very end of the day. So I think you're just kind of waiting in wonder uh, as to whether or not you've sent somebody the right information or not. I guess we'll see. But I'm pretty sure that one was right. And now we're just waiting. So I guess this would be a good time to look and see about other um, other things on here you might not be as familiar with, like termites, for instance. That the ugly little motherfucker. I don't think I've never seen a termite in real life ever. Let me... I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Why her goddamn house creak like an old lady? Not Please because you got it. some kind of structural issue, but because you got goddamn mice. Little bitch went ee ee ee. Let me listen. That sounds pretty close, don't it? That does sound pretty close to that just that that, that noise she was doing. Let me listen. What does a mole sound like? Ooh, that little bitch sound creepy as fuck. Okay, it definitely wasn't that. Anything else on here? What about a gold? No way a gopher being her attic. That'd be insane. Oh, no. That, he sound chubby, too. Listen, uh, gophers, if y'all have ever seen a gopher in real life, them little bitches always chubby. And he sounded chubby, too. Oh, God, he did. Okay, that had to have been... Actually, listen. Let me, let, me, let me listen here. Oh, there, there is no sound. Okay, so it can't be that. It's got to be mice. 100%. That's definitely right. That's definitely right. There it is. Good job. Successfully sent. Let's keep it moving. Okay, just waiting for the next phone call to come in. Oh, there we go. Okay, who we got, who we got, who we got? I see, I'm doing really good on my first day, I feel like. Hank here. Last What's up? Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. Okay, that voice acting highly suspicious. Now, see, here's the thing about these people when they call in that you can't get bamboozled by. This guy said that there's piles of crap in his yard. You think, oh, somebody, you know, like a deer or something walked through his yard. He's took old took a shit and kept moving. That's not the case. Okay, this guy's either got golfers or he's got a mole. Okay, he's got one or the other. Let's let's go ahead and read the description. Small dar, okay, 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 okay. Burrows tend to look like volcano-shaped mounds and they eat insects, but these are fairly small. These are fairly small. Let me look at the golfers. Huge piles of brown. He said huge piles of brown. I feel like mole holes aren't that big. Okay. Now, see, I think it's got to be a mole because in the gopher section, it doesn't mention anything about a mound. It's got to be a mole. I'm going to be submitting mole. Okay, let's see if we got it right. Hang tight. Okay, got a successful input. Now, I don't think that there's going to be enough missions on here for you to even miss a singular one this early on. Unless they give me more than 10 callers today, I'm, I couldn't hit the 90% if I miss a single one. And I, I don't know how many they do in a day. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Okay, got a new call coming in. Let's see. Hello? 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 John here again. I got beef with you. Your people gave me bad info. What the fuck? What you sent us didn't have anything to do with our problem. I'll be sure to tell our friends not to be bothered, Colin. Oh, so I'm fucked. What the hell do they mean? Oh, that doesn't seem good. Bitch, it said 90% are better. 
It said 90% or better. How could that have been wrong? What was it? Okay, I hope they tell you at the end because I'm certain I don't know what it was. Bro, he said it looked like coffee grounds in the kitchen. He said it looked like coffee grounds in the kitchen. What else would it be? Little itty bitty little bitches. In no way he would have mistaken a house fly, bro. No way. No way. He, he would know what a house fly was. Uh, Who is? Quick segment here. Just calling to inform you that uh, your refrigerator's been running wild over here for the past 45 to 90 minutes. Been running wild. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. Okay, so I just got prank called. I just got prank called by a ghoulish bitch with one fucked up eye. Bitch, better not call me again. Okay, we'll wait that. We'll wait for some real shit. We'll wait for some real shit. I literally have no idea what that guy's problem was. I definitely thought it was black mold. What would it have been? Termites? These don't look like coffee grounds. Those do not look like coffee grounds. Okay, I, don't, I literally have no idea. I'm hoping I don't get another repeat. Okay, hey, there's somebody new. you guys new. have a lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like no. a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? What? Wait, wait. Wait, this guy's got, this guy's got a, a lawn mowing issue. Please hold. What, what the hell am I going to help him with? What, what, what the hell is this guy? What the hell am I going to help this guy with? I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's got ticks. Maybe his kid got bit by a tick? Like, that's literally the only thing I can think of. That's literally the only thing I can think of. Was he talking about long grass and ticks live in long grass? I don't know, bro. That's, that's, that's the best thing I got. That's the best thing I thought I, I got. Holy shit, this game gonna require some serious context clues. Okay, if that was right and that was the answer. Uh-oh. 75%. So I did just miss that one, probably. I don't, I, is it gonna show me? I, I wish that they would show me a breakdown. So I know exactly which one I got wrong or right. 75% ain't, ain't good enough to get my to get my coupon. To get my coupon. Is this bitch gonna give me a review? I need to know what I got right or wrong. Let me see. I hope she is. What does this say? Quit before it's too late. From Mike at HSH Mail. Wait, this guy's got an email address from us. You don't know me, but I used to have your job. You are in danger. Quick today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late. Quit freely. Trust me. Huh? <laughs> That's not funny, bitch. I mean, I laugh, but it's not fucking funny. Okay, what is that guy talking about? Why is there a crazy man emailing me on my second day at work? Okay, who we got? Who we got? Hello? My boss. Uh -oh. Hello. Why is she saying it like that? She kind of creeping me out. Okay, so I got some new entries. I got bats. A bat does not seem like one that would that would have us concerned. Ooh, if those motherfuckers sound like that. Actually, I am kind of concerned. Okay. So there's the bat. Bed teeth. What the hell? Rare kind of household fungus known for growing in small cone-like shapes on the underside of bed sheets, blankets, and comforts. Huh? Oh, some of these are a little diabolical. <sighs> Sorry, I'm uh, uh, calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Oh, uh, okay, this guy's got a mold problem. Now, see, this might actually be black mold. Now, let me see. Does this make you sneeze? Oh, yeah, okay, allergic reactions or breathing problems. So, I, I bet that's it. Unless there's something else on here, this guy would not be sneezing if he had carbon monoxide. Okay, yeah, so I just did a brief glance through all of these ones. It's got to be black mold. It's got to be black mold. So let me submit this. And as we go through, I'll read y'all the new, um, 
the new, I guess, entities or, or whatever the hell these are uh, that, we, that we're getting. Oh, entries. That's just they, just, they literally just call them entries. I'll read through these and show y'all some of these as we, as we unlock them. Um, oh, okay, wow, back-to-back -back call, but I don't have time to do it between calls. Do you know if there's such a thing as house thieves that clean? Like, maybe to disguise the robbery? At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless, but haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? There absolutely is. Please See, so help. this lady... It's what we call a hob. You've got a hob infestation. Now, it sounds to me like a common hob and not one of the other popular types of hobs, okay? As a hob expert, as a hobologist, bitch, I know. Okay, it's probably not a desk hob because it's not in the desk. It's probably not a fracture hob because you haven't noticed any kind of cracks in your walls or the ceiling. It's probably not a pipe hob because it's not inside of your pipe. And that's all. So it's definitely a common hog, a, a common hob, almost certainly, because common hobs are the most common species of hob found in the household. They are small humanoid creatures with gray burlap, like skin and small vertical tufts of hair on the head. They have no false face. They are known for a tendency to consume dirt, dust, and common sticky substances found on the floors and dishes, cleaning them in the process. They generally come out at night. Okay, this is definitely what it is. And she described uh, her problem occurring at night. So it's definitely a common hob. That's what this lady's got. So let's go ahead and submit that. Okay, there we go. So we kind of pop it off right now. I do feel like I'm two for two. I do feel like I'm two for two. Although I definitely thought I was right about that first one too. And I fucking wasn't. So I guess we'll see. Let's see who's this. Please no repeat caller. I need somebody new. Yo, oh. Buzz Goober here. Been having a heck of a time over here. I got these snappers itching and whooping and crying all over the place. Just all over the place, I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining, and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? I've called about 5,500 times, and y'all haven't done a thing about it. Oh, this guy actually has a legitimate problem. Oh, or does he? No, he doesn't. He was just fucking with me. Okay, next time a bitch calls me to f with me and just wastes my time. Where's the hang-up button at? Where's the hang-up button at? I could have told you that googly-eyed fuck was going to waste my time the second he called and I heard him talk. Oh, my God. Okay, I do not have the customer service personality. Okay, I don't. But if you're calling in with a legitimate problem, I can help you. You're calling around to f with me. We got to be brawling, bitch. Dami, relax. I have one prank call. That's actually my second one in two days, but all the same. Who's next, bro? Who's next? Who's called? Call me. What's up? I, I don't know what's going on inside my house. I hear what? something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please. Okay, so we got teeth marks on the bedposts crawling in the walls. Hold. Now, I'm going to start with the bed teeth. Let's, let's go ahead and see what's popping with this. Bed teeth are a rare kind of household fungus known for growing in small cone-like shapes on the underside of bed sheets, blankets, and comforters. Homeowners of uh, uh, revile. Okay. I'm going to go for a... I think I'm going to go mice. The gnaw marks, and even though it doesn't specifically say crawling in the walls, I mean, mice obviously crawl. So it seems like a legitimate answer. Even though it's not listed specifically, we all know that mice move around and they crawl. I, that's that's my best guess. And the gnaw marks on the walls or on, on the bedpost would make sense. Because it says, it says the mice bite on shit. Gnaw marks. So we'll see. We'll see. Okay. New call coming in. Who we got? Yeah, hey, I'm calling about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. Sounds okay, like scratching got? or something. It's real quiet. So definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've set out all kinds of traps, but... Uh, I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. Right, right. So scratching real quiet in the walls. That might be that might be termites. Let's see. Peeling paint, small holes, squeaky floorboards. Maybe not. Okay, so I'm getting scratching from the bats, but he hasn't seen any droppings. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. I don't. That might be wrong. I don't. He might call me back. Pissed. 
I gotta submit it though, bro. I gotta submit it. We gotta see. Please don't be a return caller. Please don't be a return caller. Please don't be a return caller. Okay. That's a desk cop. That's a desk cop, no doubt about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I knew I knew it. The second I heard the, the second I heard the symptoms, bitch, I knew exactly what your shit was. Let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. A desk cop. Here we go. Okay, a desk cop are a subspecies of hop that are known to inhabit desks, vanities, and other similar structures. They are likely to tidy the homes and will frequently sort and order materials in a desk to their liking. Physically similar to other hops, but generally much smaller and have raspy loose hair. Okay, perfect. Absolutely, that's what this guy's got. All right, easy as fuck, yo, easy as fuck. See, now these are the shits I'm looking for. Here we go, send it in. 80%, bitch. Okay, I'm getting better. I think I probably missed one. I don't know which one, but 80% ain't too shab. 80% ain't too shab. I think that's one miss. I think that's one miss. Okay, so I'm trending, I'm trending the right way, bitch. I'm trending the right way, bitch. Here we go, day three. We definitely probably gonna get a new email in from Bitch Bitch McGee. Oh, and I got a new video. It's too late for you now. Uh, they gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you. If you end up like me, join me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's safe in here. So somewhere behind the desk, it looks like. Oh, in this hole here, probably. How'd that bitch fit in there? He a little itty bitty motherfucker. Corporate network error. Attention call team, our network team is migrating our backend servers over to a new hosting provider this week, so you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Please be sure that you are studying the information carefully while you still have access in case the network goes down while you are on the phone with a client. We still expect to have accurate answers for our callers regardless of the network's status. These motherfuckers. Okay, let's see. So you gotta know everything without being able to see it. The real estate update. Okay, a house for eighty-four thousand dollars. Um, not really sure what's going on here. We're zooming in slowly. I'm assuming we're gonna see somebody creeping in one of the windows. Now there's one window out in this one. Oh, these are different houses. Was that second one a different house or was it the same? This window's out. Community alert. A civil authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following counties. Bush County, Maple County, Parkway County, Barry County. Understood. Okay, so these might all be different houses. Missing persons alert authorities are currently looking for missing child Robbie Parker, male, brown hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes. Suspect is described to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their person, last seen at approximately 10.25 a.m. Please report any unusual activity to your local authorities. Okay, now I bet if you look back through these videos slowly and carefully you might see one of the things they just described, but I'm not certain that's true. I'm really not certain that's true. Okay, time to start my next day at work. So they're telling me the network might go down and I might get fucking tossed depending on what they ask me. Now, I honestly feel like I've got a pretty good handle on most of the shit. It's just a little couple of the little nuanced things that might get me. We'll see. I think we'll be all right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, they got the cockroaches. That guy, that first guy was cockroaches. That's insane. Cockroaches do not look like coffee grounds. Hello. Oh, they're dropping. Carol here again. We've updated your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future calls. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. 
please remember that this information is strictly confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Thank you. Understood, understood, understood. Got it. Okay, let's see what new shit we just unlocked. Bogart. Oh, hell no. Sound good, bitch! Hey, yeah, thanks a bunch for the terrible advice you sent me. My kid just fell through the frickin' wall from all the damage they dealt, and we found out on our own what was going on. See you never. Okay, so this guy called me back to be pissed. Fuck you, bitch! He don't even know I'm the same guy, bro. It's a different day. Different day, different employee, bitch. Wasn't me. What is this? False artifact. Okay, I, I, I'm not having time to read these before people call. Slug. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Oh. Now, wait a minute. I, I think it's probably the slug. I think it's probably the stair slug. But let me verify because there's some new shit in here that it could be also. Oh, wow. They added in a bunch of shit. Wait, let me look at the stair slug. He didn't report any kind of slimy residue. Okay, let me let me actually read through this, because I feel like a couple of y'all might be interested in what these new anomalies are. I'll just read through them really, really quickly so that y'all can see what they are. Bogarts is a general term for a metamorphosized hob. They are large, hairy humanoids between six to seven feet tall and bear a fairly convincing false faces. Uh, they are known for causing household accidents, such as flooding, fires, or electrical outages. They um, frequently observe their targets while they sleep. That's fucking insane. False rosebush. Large plant-like creature that most commonly takes the appearance of a red rosebush in, in place of roots. Two small humanoid feet. Oh, shit. That they can use to chase down prey. False rosebushes sometimes report missing pets or children. Lamp sprite. Common subspecies of Sprite that make their home inside of lamp fixtures. They are known for causing lamps they inhabit to flicker or burn hotter, sometimes causing a burning smell in the home. Memory Wisp. Due to a clerical error, the audio symbol provided above is incorrect. The issue will be corrected by the end of the month. That should sound like an arcade machine. Memory wisps are invisible, odorless household wisps that are known for removing memories from the home and its homeowners. Missing photos, photo frames, and inability to remember the faces of loved ones. Yeah, right. Okay, mere nymph. Subspecies of nymph that are known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passersby. They are generally small, faceless, voiceless humanoids carrying a large mirror. That they beckon others to look into. Homeowners afflicted by mere names commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. Okay, these are fairly easy. Tea Sprite. Sometimes of Sprite known for feeding off of tea and tea leaf residue. Homeowners infested with tea sprites commonly report leaf-like droppings. And sounds of fluttering near the kitchen. Okay, that did not sound like fluttering at all for the record. Toilet Hob. Sussex is a hob known for homing inside of toilets. They bear false faces and have two separate clumps of wispy hair, e two on each side or one on each side. Like most hobs, they tend to clean the homes, but only active at night. The toilets they inhabit are nearly spotless. Unicorn fungi. What the fuck? Unicorn fungi are a rare horn-shaped fungi. Grow on the heads of furry mammals and household pets. Often affect the animal's disposition, causing them to be drawn to soil. Digging inside or around their home. Whistling fungi. Small holes in their cats frequently drive through. Okay. Report a whistling sound coming from their walls. And then a wine sprite. Consuming wine. Small, large-eyed winged creatures. 
with translucent skin that often appear red while they are feeding. They have long so-and-sos that they use to drink, homeowners infested, broken glasses, and their wine having a rotten smelling. Okay. So this one in the basement is definitely probably a stair slug. That's my bet. It's either a stair slug or a... Whatever this new bitch was, the Bogart. But this thing's too big. This thing's too big. And it hasn't caused any kind of issues. Always lurking just out of sight. Maybe it is a Bogart, actually. But this thing says it's almost as big as my dog. This guy does not have a seven foot to, or six to seven foot tall dog. It could be a raccoon. It could be something a little bit less nefarious, too, huh? I'm gonna try the slug. I'm gonna try the slug. I feel like that's, I feel like that's the best guess. Okay, let me submit it. Let me submit it. This guy might call me back, Piss. This guy might call me back fucking bad. I, 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 I'm dedicated. I, I feel like that's right. I bet my internet goes down on the next one. Which, by the way, I don't know. I need to see what it looks like. But wouldn't make no sense how my computer would go down, but I'd still be connected to the phone call. I guess we'll see. Maybe it will make sense. But as I'm thinking about it right now, it, uh, it can't make sense, bro. Okay, let's listen. Who's this? What you got? What you got? What you got? Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom recently i'm not sure what it can mean it just makes this nasty sound anytime i run it along with this uh, nasty smell okay that sounds like please hold he's got a pipe bulge what's it called it's called pipe something pipe growth let me see maybe it's not actually oh actually it seems like it's probably just a simple frozen pipe that's that's that sounds like what this guy's got going on. Now I can only imagine that as we continue on, the the, the stories that these people have are gonna get more and more diabolical. Like we've said before. And I think frozen pipes might be the last of the normal sort of anomalies that these people are experiencing. Let's see. This this seems like it might be a mad caller. I don't know why I just I I'm feeling that energy. Don't trip, my man. You got it. You got it. You got a memory oh. wisp. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, that sounds exactly like a memory wisp. Yeah, I knew it. The second the second he started talking about, it, I knew exactly what your problem was, my man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely got a memory wisp issue. Don't trip, though. I got your ass. Don't trip, though. I got your ass. We're gonna get you straight down with a heartbeat. Okay, no trip, no trip. Now I do want to say, the voice acting on this game. Hey, yeah, my name's Fred Pinball. I'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business. Whatever. I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles. Sod, I ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. I had to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. Now, <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do to make this right? <laughs> okay. Literally every time this guy calls me, I couldn't hang up fast. Okay, every time that guy calls me, I need that hang up button on lock and load, bitch. Hang up on this fuck! What I was gonna say is that the voice acting on this game is actually pretty good, okay? Surprisingly. And there's a bunch of different people doing the voice acting, it seems like. It's not like the same guy doing the same voice lines for everything. It's actually pretty good. Okay, we should have a new one coming in. Here we go. Now, the time between calls is a little diabolical, okay? It's probably like, what, 30 seconds? But I already know all my shit, so I don't need to wait. I need, I need these calls back to back, but let's keep it moving. Here we go. Who we got? Uh, hi? I, uh, have no idea what's happening. Uh, my sheets are growing nasty, sharp things on them, and bed my legs itch like crazy. Bed teeth. Do I need to be showering more often or something? No. I usually shower, like, once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's, that's all right. Now, that's got nothing to do with it. In fact, shower once a week is too often, you fuck! It's bed teeth. Network air. Some bitch, I already knew it, though. <laughs> oh, these bitches tried to test my motherfucking ass. Oh, these bitches tried to test my ass. Bitch, I already knew it. Bitch, I already knew it. Oh, none of them load. Everything's cooked. Okay, so it just shows you the name, but nothing else. 
Oh, everything, everything's off. Everything's offline, but the phone calls still work. Kind of insane. Hello? I was told to call this number to ask about my problem. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look great near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks, or maybe it's peeling. I'm not sure. I have a cat named Whiskers, and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch. But he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. Oh, now see, this one's tough. Because this Please one could hold. fall into a couple different categories. Oh, but my shit's back. My shit's back. Okay, my first guess was a... Um, which kind of hob was it? Let me see. A fracture hob. This was my first guess. Some species of hob known for causing cracks and fractures in walls. Small stature. False face. See, but this is this this doesn't this doesn't this doesn't account for the peeling paint though, too. Or maybe it's peeling. It doesn't actually confirm that it's peeling. It just says, or maybe it's peeling. See, because it could also be termites if it's peeling paint. Only the bottom of the wall has cracks, which seems interesting. It doesn't seem like termites would only do it on the bottom part. I don't know. She didn't give me very much info, bro. I need I needed slightly more info. I got I got to take a best guess on this one. I'm going to go fracture, Rob. I'm going to go fracture. Okay, report that ass. Report that ass. Who we got? Who we got? Do you think this is some kind of joke? Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room, and the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What kind of joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house and you figure it out now. Oh my God. Wait, is, is this not the guy I sent the common hob to? I'm pretty sure that's what I sent him. So I sent him that, but he's acting like that wasn't right. Because now it's causing damage to his shit. Which is a different one. I don't remember which one it is. Unless this bitch transformed already. Such as flooding fires and electrical outages. That fucker transformed! Bo, I was right, you son of a bitch. You didn't put the cream out. Was it heavy cream? Was it heavy cream? You fuck! He probably put out the wrong kind of cream, Bo. He probably put out the wrong kind of cream, bro. Yeah, power outages. My man, you got you got you got yourself a serious fucking issue, bro. You got yourself a serious issue. You're about to get terminated tonight. You don't deal with this shit. Okay, that bitch about to be in the hospital. That bitch about to be in the ICU. He ain't careful. Now, normally, for calling me up and talking to me with that tone, I'd be putting you in the ICU, bitch. But not today. I'm trying to look out for your ass. 88-3. No, sorry. 83-33. Okay, fuck off. You know what it says. You can read. Okay, 83.33. Okay, here we go. So I am getting a little bit better. Okay, I'm not I'm not going nothing crazy or nothing. But I am getting a little bit better every time. Okay, and that I, I feel like that's pretty impressive. Considering the fact that they're adding on more bullshit as time goes on. Now, I can only imagine this shit going to get even worse for me. What the fuck is that crusty-ass, ugly-ass cat? Introducing our new office pet, HSH Corporate. Welcome to the Home Safety Hotline family. We're excited to introduce all of you to our brand new office pet, Whiskers. Whiskers is a loyal, friendly, and is serious about his pest controls. We are. Please give Whiskers a warm welcome if you see him wander by your desk. Please refrain from picking up our feeding whiskers. He is still getting to know everyone in the office and has scheduled feeding times. Okay, so that cat's going to be dead. That cat's going to die somehow. Okay, I guarantee it. They're not telling me about that cat for fun. That cat's going to meet the gods somehow. It'll be sad. But listen, if it had to be a cat or a dog, I'm glad it's a cat. Some of you are really mad. Stop typing. hell is this? I'm about to get jump scared. I'm sitting back. Mice. One of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the Black Plague 
to the shelves of our pet stores. Mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. This is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. And this is mus musculus loquentis, otherwise known as the smart mouse, a newly discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet, Modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently, and in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse, and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. a wonder of evolution? What the hell was that? Just hearing things that aren't there. Do mice and men have more in common than previously thought? Well, I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. Okay, two things. Number one, why the fuck did I just watch that documentary? That bitch longer than hell. And number two, that better have been fabricated, bitch. That damn mouse better not have been talking to me. No way, no how, bitch. Thursday. Day number four on the job, gang. Will I get terminated? Will I pop off? Time will tell. Here we go. We about to get some new bullshit popping in. Guaranteed. Let's clock in. Hello. Supervisor Carol here again. Yep, 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 yep. I've been watching the closely employee. I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. Thank you! And once again, updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Okay, bet. Fuck the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon thee. Why is she talking like that? Our eyes rest upon thee? Why is she talking like that? Attic gnome. Uh-oh. Attic gnomes are a subspecies of gnome known for nesting in attics and ceilings. Homeowners infested with the attic gnome will often report a knocking or rapping sound coming from their ceilings and a surplus of dust coming out of the ventilation systems. Cellar grotto. What the fuck? Large cave-like networks known for sometimes appearing spontaneously in cellars and basements. Homeowners with a cellar grotto will often report a bad smell coming from the basement, high humidity in the home, and notable increase in large beetles, frogs, and related pests. I think the map is something wrong with her faucet. Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's gotta be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, Homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't never had any problems until now. I keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things that can happen to the water. So, can you just send someone out to get this fixed for us? Now, Ash, I know you're under the impression that you got some kind of water problem, but my man, what you actually got a problem with is a goddamn false beat. You ate your ass, a crusty ass, ugly ass beet, bitch. False beets are creatures with a beet like appearance that are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them, disguise themselves as vegetables. False beets are harmless unless eaten by a human, at which point they take root into human stomach, feeding off of nutrients, causing digestive issues and back problems. That's definitely what my man's ate. Okay, see, I knew that one immediately. Let me submit it. I should have read through the other ones before I did that. Because this is the best time to read the other shit. That's okay, I'll be quick. Okay, so we got the grotto. Fay Feast. Large to mid-sized piles of edible food substances frequently including flour, cornmeal, and various species of fungi known to appear near eating areas of the home. Okay. Wait, what, what were the symptoms? Not dangerous to consume. They are left untouched to provoke more dangerous activity or else continued presence. Okay, right. Hello? I followed every instruction your people sent me, but I'm still getting cracks on my wall. Uh, my daughter is called pest control. And she told me not to call you anymore for help. I'm 
sorry. Goodbye. Wait, oh, okay, so she, she didn't like my, okay, so, so she actually had rats or some kind of pest, bro. Rare dangerous condition commonly spread household fay. Headaches, fever, eye discoloration, seeds taking root in skin pores and blooming. Rarely fatal, but can have long-lasting effects. Dizziness, fatigue, monocolored vision, delirium. Okay, so that's Fay flu. The police told me to call this number, so I, uh, hope I got the right number here. Felicia? Anyway, uh, I think, I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. I can hardly sleep anymore. Okay, so it sounds like she might have a metamorphosized motherfucker. But let me verify. Floor roots. Tree-like brown roots. Known to grow upwards from the floor to wrap themselves around various objects and humans in the vicinity. Okay, the horde. The hell is that? Invisible odorous collective consciousness that is known to collect and store large quantities of common household refuse. What the hell? Laundry gnome. Substance is a gnome with thick fiber like fur. They can fold their bodies into various shapes and often resemble dirty towels. Homeowners laundry gnomes report loud rattling or banging coming from the washing machine or missing socks. Night gnomes. Oh, here we go. This, this is actually what she's got. Night gnomes are small, hairy creatures with pointed head. No more tendency to enter the sleeping quarters of humans and watch them while they sleep. Homeowners affected by night. Uh, in the middle of the night, report heavy breathing sounds in the late hours. Okay, I'm glad I looked because she's actually got a night gnome. Night wisp. Some species of wisp form bright floating lights. Hover outside of windows at night. Whispering promises of good wealth and fortune. A portal? A portal to where? Door shaped openings to the outdoor location other than the homeowners discovered commonly in basements, underground cellars. Homeowners with portals frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and a strong desire to enter. Seedling. Small insectoid creatures about the size of whatever that is. They are known for burrowing in outdoor planters and gardens, feeding off of the roots of nearby weeds. Cycles. Extremely territorial and react violently to anything competing with their food stores. Never remove a weed from a seedling infested garden. They are known to compel competitors to commit violent acts on themselves and others. What? Travel gnome. Highly invasive substances of gnome known to stow away inside of luggage of unsuspecting travelers and introduce themselves to new households. They are most commonly found in highly forested areas of the globe. Okay, so this lady's definitely got a night note. Okay, 100%. 100%. So she's nice and easy. And as long as I don't get one where I can't read my shit, I should be okay. But there are a lot of options popping up now, so it's got to be hard to remember them all. But I'm going to try, bitch. Okay, let's send it out. Here we go. Ooh, okay. Quick phone call, quick phone call. Let's see what we got. Hopefully a new caller, not somebody mad. Hello, yes. I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Oh. Lately, what? we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. Oh. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. You've probably got yourself an attic gnome. Let's see, is this right? Attic gnomes are supposed to be known, known for nesting in attics and ceilings. Homeowners infested with attic gnomes will report knocking or rapping sounds coming from the ceilings or surplus of dust coming from the ventilation system. Banging noise in the ceiling. Bad air quality. Yep. Confirm, bitch. Confirm, bitch. Call me Black Jamie Heineman. Come on now. Easy as hell. Confirming that shit since uh, 95, bitch. Come on now. Everybody sit back, relax, and let me do my job. New caller. What you got? Please help me. What's up? The police refused to do anything. They told me to call you. What do you my, need? My little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. He's eight years old and such a sweetheart. Okay. The last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy closet for bees to calm him down. Oh, it's silly, I know, but my poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and, and wasps and stuff. <laughs> Can help me find him. He's all that I have. 
Okay, now there's definitely a couple Please anomalies hold. that relate to missing children. Oh, got it, bitch. <laughs> it's definitely a false artifact. False artifacts are seemingly human-designed objects that manifest suddenly inside a home. They are known for making a gentle buzzing noise. Sounds kind of like bees, maybe. Okay? That usually can only be heard by very young humans or small animals. Homeowners with false artifacts often report objects out of place or missing children or pets. Not a direct threat to humans, but small humans and animals. Should a child be left alone with a false artifact, they risk being encased within. Once encased, no noise made by the prey can be heard. While digestion takes upwards of a year to complete starvation, can be a more pressing concern. Okay, well, we about to save this little shit. Oh, yeah, we about to save little homie, bro. Here we go. I got you. She better call me back and thank me, okay? I always hear the bullshit, but I never hear the thank you, okay? So I'm gonna need to hear a thank you on this shit. Send it in. Send it in. Your little man's coming back to life. Don't even trip. There's no more music in the background. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Hi. I'm concerned somewhat about the stability of my new home. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed, as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor. I haven't been able to get in contact mm. with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. Legal advice? Mm -hmm. Fuck no! But you might have yourself some kind of grotto. Let's see which one. Bad smell coming from the basement. Weakened foundation. So, th so this thing could cause a weakened foundation. 100%. Bitch appeared spontaneously after he bought the house. That's cringe, bro. That's fucking cringe for you, bro. I'm sorry that happened to you. Okay, but here's how you fix it. Take those instructions to the head. Maybe the music just doesn't play in between rounds and I wasn't paying attention. I suppose that's possible. I don't recall that being a thing, but I suppose it's possible. I'm a little bit worried I'm going to get jump scared on this bitch. I haven't heard no scary calls in a... I love it when these annoying dickheads waste my time! Bo, they're dead ass for serious. That's literally the same guy. He must not have anybody else's phone number because he keeps calling my dumb ass. He called me once a day at least. Once a day at least! Fucking twat! That don't sound like a normal phone call. What's cooking with this? Hey, so my doctor told me I should call this number. I have no idea why. He won't tell me anything. He said you could help. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, now, my man, it sounds kind of like you've got a fey flu. Okay. I'm pretty sure he's got the fey flu. I'm pretty sure he's got the fey flu. I'm, 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 I'm going to commit to that. I'm going to commit to that. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I might have just, but I'm pretty sure that's right. I'll have to double check after I get my internet back. I ain't got it back yet, though. So we can't see yet. They're not going to do me two calls, no internet, are they? They might. This game could be diabolical like that. You gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking uh -oh. out over here. This guy missing a dog? All over my freaking house, man. Freaking holes. I'm stepping around big wooden splinters. There's no telling how much damage there is. I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes. To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found. She probably took off after seeing this mess. I need help. Shit. Bad. Okay. 
The holes? I Please don't. Hold. Oh, thank God. Okay, my internet's back. Okay, thank God my internet's back. Let me see. Is this the one that changes your eye discoloration? Fucking knew it, bitch. Okay, so I got I got that other guy's right. Let me see what this one is. He's talking about a bunch of holes in his shit. I wonder if it's this, the unicorn fungi. Unicorn fungi are a rare horn-shaped fungus that are known to grow on the heads of furry mammals and household pets. Often affect animals' disposition, cause them to be drawn to soil. Homeowners often report furious digging around or inside the house. Danger, uh, unicorn fungi are not directly harmful to humans, but they can lead to strange household problems such as broken floorboards, uprooted plants, and waking up other things beneath the soil. So I wonder if it's that, bro. That's my best guess. I don't I don't think a little greyhound could do that, but I don't really think they're that I don't, I don't really think the game's that deep, bro. I don't really think it's that deep, bro. I think that's right. I feel like that was right. Maybe it wasn't, but I feel like it was. Okay, new call. Who we got? That info you sent was garbage. The cracks are getting larger, and now the basement is flooding. You can tell your supervisor that you were no help whatsoever. I'm taking this into my own hands. And now the basement is flooding. Ain't this the guy I told about the grotto, bro? Ain't this the guy I told about the grotto, bro? Well, I need to see. I'm pretty sure that was fucking right, idiota. All right. I'm going to need someone to explain what in the name of Christmas is happening to my living room. Okay. I'm back from vacation, and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. And my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in there. What is happening? Is, is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? A bad rug or something? No, but you do have... You do have a gnome of some kind. I need to look at this really quickly. Yeah, I mean, they're talking about spelunking and snorkeling after uh, because of the grotto's location. I'm pretty sure that was right. Fuck that guy. Okay, what's this lady want? Oh, she got a, she got a travel gnome, I think. Is that right? Let me see. Travel gnomes are highly invasive species of gnome known to stow away inside of luggage. She didn't say she just got back from vacation, right? Show sure enough. Uh, they are found most commonly in highly forested areas of the globe. Fact holes in various ways. Create expensive gardens inside the home, leaving soil and plants and common outdoor pests in their wake. These gardens, in addition to inducing a variety of dangerous pests, can create foundational problems in the home if they continue to grow unabated. Yeah, correct. Okay, that's definitely what she's got. So she's got a fucking travel gnome. Bah! Okay, here we go. I really wish they would tell you which ones you supposedly got wrong and didn't just send angry people calling your dumb ass. Okay, because I'm pretty sure that guy was right too, bro. Or I'm pretty sure I was right with that guy. Okay, let's see. my basement i don't know what it is all i know is when i open my basement door it smells like a damn sewer and i can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises it sounds like there might be a lot of water down there too i don't know what it might be doing down there but i have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage please send somebody to help with this i can't deal with something like this okay so he's got water noises please hold. in his basement That could be. Yeah, I'm, go I'm gonna have to go sell her gross. It makes the most sense. It makes the most sense. Okay, let's submit this one. Here we go. Okay, I honestly feel like we're doing pretty good. I feel like, I feel like my rate is over 80%. I'm pretty confident about that. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty confident about that. Fuck, 77%, bitch. Okay, I feel like that's not bad. I mean, let's be real. I feel like that's not bad. Maybe it was. I don't know. I guess if this bitch lights my ass up, well, no, I fucked up. Okay, I mean, I got complete. I got it complete, and nobody's chastising me yet. I feel like over 75% is good. What I got going on in the mail situation. Do not come to the hole. The hole is breached. I repeat, the hole is breached. It's not safe here. I must find a new spot. It knows I'm here. Just a picture of an eyeball. How is that guy emailing me from his little dog shit hole? Regarding your schedule, due to a shortage of available staff, we need you to come in and work Saturday and Sunday. 
Thanks for being a team player. Rest assured your bonus labor will be recognized. Oh my God, bitch. They got me working Saturday and Sunday. That's assuming I survive until then. I don't know if I'm going to survive until then. I guess we'll see. Here we go. Okay, next up. Let's clock in and get popping. Let's clock in and get popping. So I'm assuming we're probably going to get some new entries when homegirl calls us up. I'm assuming she should call any minute now. There you go. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. Thine accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. I have updated your permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon thee. Okay, so she is getting weirder every time she calls. Impress those of us above and below the soil. Okay, I've now unlocked almost all of the entries. Animation. Miniature humanoid figures such as dolls, puppets, or marionettes that are capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with animation most commonly report hearing clattering noises at night and missing or stolen household objects. Interesting. Closet labyrinth. Large twisting tunnels known occasionally to appear inside of closets and wardrobes. What is happening to my basement? I followed your instructions, but it's not just an animal roaring down here. This whole place is like some huge cave. How is this possible? Oh. <laughs> oh. He might be dead! Oh, so that bitch had a grotto, bro. That guy had a grotto. Huh! I mean, I mean, the other guy was bitching that his shit flooded, but this guy, bro, I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I feel like that should have been right. There were Satan worshippers in my shed. I think it might be my no good teenager haven't joined up with one of those dungeon dragon cults they say these days because he's been gone for days now and the next thing you know i find a dang tree growing in my shed the tree is all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid classic satanistic ritual crap i assume but tell me what i can do to get these godless teens off my property okay so she might have herself a a, a, a fake rose bush hang on i want to finish reading these ones so i know what they are Closet labyrinth, large twisting network tunnels known occasionally to appear inside of the closet of wardrobes of wealthy homeowners and left behind in homes once used by wealthy homeowners. Closet labyrinths, missing clothes, distant cries coming from the closet. Dreamweaver. Large spider like creatures known to weave dreams into reality. They are known to cause nearby humans to only dream about everything being covered in webs. They'll move into a household if no other spiders are present. False flower, take root indoor plant to plant disguise themselves among flowers, report hearing faint singing. Kobold, what the fuck is that? Looks like a little rat bitch. Five foot tall humanoid creatures, like a dog, like faces, known to burrow into dark rooms or storage closets and make them at home, and make them their home. Homeowners infested with these, sometimes report broken floorboards. Rain nymph, some species of nymphs active during rainstorms, they are faint humanoids. Glow their eyes appear near windows and doors. Asking to be let inside. Homeowners afflicted. Report flooding. Soap Sprite. Consuming bacteria and harmful microbes. Frequently occupied bathrooms appearing similar to pink soap, bars of soap, in order to feed off the hands that use them. Screech sud like substance to digest their meals. Rapidly going tree. Takes root in the human body. They are known. Structural damage to a home continue to grow. Generally reaching their full size within a matter of days. They are known to be caused by the touch of a what? Spurgeon? Incredibly deadly to those affected will reach, result in death once they reach a certain size. Anyone near a sprint tree while it is growing in an indoor location is also at risk of injury. Oh. I wonder if it's that actually that killed her son. Brick vines, rapidly growing vines, known quickly to consume a house. Trash gnome. What the fuck? Looks like a little rat bitch. 
Uh, some species of gnome with a thick brownish fur, gray fur, frog-like eyes, and large gaping mouths. Known to seek out trash receptacles burrow inside for both food and shelter. Homeowners report the smell of rotten eggs, finding large clumps of fur throughout the house, tipped over garbage cans, crumpling noises at night. So I wonder if it's this sprig tree is covered up in fabric and has a black liquid coming out of it. I bet it's this. I mean, look at that damn thing. It's black and covered in fabric. I bet it's that. I bet it's that. I'm, 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 I'm doing that. Spring tree. Okay, I feel like that's right. I do. I feel like that's right. See, now the entities are getting a little more demonic. Okay, lots of missing kids, lots of missing motherfuckers, etc. Hey, I called last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? Oh, so he's got a clean please kitchen. Order. He's got a clean kitchen. He's got some kind of hob. Yeah, I think he's just got a common hob, to be honest. If not, at least I got him on the right track now, okay? Now, now he can figure the fucking shit out himself, but try every kind of hob if that one ain't right. That's my follow-up instructions. Okay, don't call me again, bitch. I got I got a busy hotline here. Okay, what we got? What we got? Yes, hi. I recently purchased from your company one of your home security installation services. And what? a week later, I'm still getting break-ins. As I mentioned prior, someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. They could be some insane serial killer, for all we know. All they do is sing at night, but no one in my family feels safe anymore. None of your stupid security alarms even went off. Ah, uh, okay, so these aren't always people that I talk to, I'm understanding now. Because I've never talked to this lady. And I think she's got a, a, a fake flower. What's it called? It's called, um, a false flower here. False flowers are long slender creatures that vaguely resemble household plants. They are known for taking root in indoor potted plants, disguising themselves among the flowers, often reported hearing fate singing. Harmless is left to their own devices, however, if a homeowner attempts to disrupt them or they remove them, they will often lash out and spray toxic chemicals known for causing blindness or loss of sight. Okay, that's gotta be it. Because she said it was in the greenhouse, too, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so she's got a false flower. Nice and easy, Bo. Nice and easy. There we go. Send it in. Hey, Flipper here. I got two dumbbells that I bought from you that need a good spit shine. Know what I mean? I mean, these bells have got all kinds of grit, grime, grease. Can't even see my face in them when I'm deadlifting. Know what I mean? I mean, I'm looking at these bells right now here. I'm seeing uh, spit crud and Juice and, uh... Hey, who who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now now easy there. Get away! Get away! What the fuck? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, what was that? Oh, so that guy was prank calling me while he was committing a crime. Stupid fuck. Wait, did he kill that man, though? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did he kill that man, though? Because it sounded like somebody got terminated in the process. It really sounded like somebody might have met the gods, bro. That was kind of the takeaway I got, y'all, too, or no? I'm sure I don't know. Okay, let's see. disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. Yes! I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. Oh. Oh. Wait, but... Oh, so the guy doing the voice was the one who we heard got bodied. The guy doing the voice was the same one that we heard that said... 
uh, 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 wait, how did you get in here? I thought, I thought the how did you get in here was somebody different. It wasn't. It was the same guy. He just stopped doing the voice and then he got fucked by whoever Carol said to kill his ass. Oh. I see. There's, there's some kind of insect in my house and I, I think it may have died. Uh, I saw this big, nasty thing fly in through the window and I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but I, I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house. Can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so let me look into Please this one. Sir, sir, I was thinking, I feel like I recognize that noise that I heard on that phone call. This is not a good one for this one to go off on. Oh, shit. Okay, let me look. There's some kind of insect in my house, and I think it may have died. I feel like it could be a lamp sprite. I don't know why. I think the burning smell is what's got me thinking that. Because I think that one has a burning smell associated with it. I feel like it's a lamp. I, I don't know. This might be wrong, but I'm going to submit it anyway. I want to... I, I feel like I recognize that noise on that guy who got choked out by Carol. Or who that Harold sent the hitman to. It could be this one, Kobold. I don't know what that one is. I'm not going to lie. That might have been a wrong report. That I'm sorry, bro. The internet's out, bro. The internet's out. What the fuck do you want me to do? I need to remember what this one is. This is literally the only one that I don't know what it is. But I want to, I want to re-listen to the Bogard noise because I feel like I might have heard that on the phone call. It, it took my daughter. It took my daughter. She, she's gone. It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. I saw it with my own eyes. Please send help. The police won't do anything. Send help. Okay, don't trip my man. Don't trip Please my man. I already know. I already know what your problem is, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing some external research really quick. Let me listen to this real quick. Wait. Now see, does that sound like what we heard on the phone call or am I bugging? Does that sound like what we heard on the phone call or am I bugging? I could be bugging. But it sounded familiar. It sounded familiar. Let me see if I got this one wrong. I knew it had a burning smell. Common subspecies of Sprite make their homes inside lamps because they are known for causing lamps. They inhabit to flicker and burn hotter, sometimes causing a burning smell throughout the home. That might honestly have been it. What is this one? I didn't know what this one is. Oh, this is the little rat fuck. Yeah, right. Okay, so this guy's got, um, he's got floor tendrils or whatever the hell they're called. What are they called? They're called, uh, I just need to see it on the... Um, floor roots. Here you go. I'm pretty sure this is it. Tree-like brown roots grow upwards from the floor, wrap themselves around various objects and humans in the vicinity, slowly serve little danger to awake and aware human adults. However, not spotted quickly, they are known for a strangling hazard on human children and pets while they sleep. Removal should be a priority. Wrap something before they cease their growth to a device to acquire dolls and other similar. Could it have pulled that girl down? See, the fact that he said he saw it with his own eyes Makes me think it might not have been these because these are supposed to be slow. It has to be. It's it's definitely the best option for sure. I, I that that's as close as I can get, bro. I don't know how many more I got. I feel like I've done quite a few calls today, bro. Okay, who we got? Who we got? It 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 it, it stole me. It stole me. I'm. Oh. Don't trip. It took me. It took me. I can't see myself anymore. I'm gone. Help me. Help get me back, please. Oh, yeah, lady. This is the easiest oh. one I had all day. Come on now. Come on now. I'm looking for a mirror nymph. There it is. Okay. So, this is a nymph known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passers by. Generally, small faceless. Not being able to recognize their own face. Huge. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, I, I, I almost got it, bro. There we go. Bop. Easy. Come on now, girl. Come on now, girl. This shit too easy for me now. 
Another one down, baby cakes. Another one down, baby cakes. Just, just wait, you, just wait, you, wait in my time, bide my time. Oh, got another call coming in. That was quick. Who we got? I think some homeless or druggies might be in my house because I keep what? finding used needles, cans, metal scrap, and other such nasty things on my living room carpet. I have children in this house, and this is a very serious hazard to their health. And before you say anything, yes, I already called the police, and they told me to call this number instead. So I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. Yeah, no worries. What you've got is you've got the horde, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Common refuse, tendency to store vast quantities of trash in a home, spreading disease, rotten food, used syringes, rusty metal. Yep, that's the one. I got you, lady. Don't even trip. Don't even trip. Then I got you taken care of. You've got the horde. Next! Come on, now I'm speedrunning this shit, bro. I'm too good at this damn job. So I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten extra uh, uh, entries inaccessible. Yeah, is there some kind of home security camera I can purchase from you guys? Why would For you the last few nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. Yeah, no worries, no worries, my man. You've got Please night hold. wisps. That's what you've got. Okay. Now, this guy didn't mention whispering or any kind of, um noises but he did say they were teens so i'm gonna i'm i'm pretty sure that's what he's got that that's a that's a that's a that's a pretty reasonable guess i do believe night was sent it through and he said he couldn't see anything so that would that would make sense because it would just be floating orbs of light okay easy as pie easy as pie come on now You got a portal. I feel like maybe I should step through it. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think I need to go inside. The wind feels so nice. Yep, you've got yourself a class 37 Please, portal, oh. bitch. Do not go near that shit. Portals, door shape entries, yada yada yada, homeowners frequently feel cold drafts and a strong desire to enter. Bitch, don't touch that shit. Portal. Submit next! What's up? Where are you at? Where are you working? This might, like, sound strange, but I think there's some kind of, like, squid or something in my bathroom. Like, I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under, near the sink with its, like, uh, little tentacles or, like, tendrils or, you know, whatever. But when I turned on the lights, nothing was there. <laughs> I checked under the towel, like, under, you know, like, that little soap thing and everything, but I know it's somewhere. Like, it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain. It's still gotta be hiding in here. Yeah, you probably got a soap Please sprite, my man. You probably got yourself a soap sprite. Let me verify. Soap sprite, some of these are over consuming bacteria and harmful microbes. They frequently occupy like bathrooms appearing similar to pink bars of soap. In order to feed off the hands that use them, they secrete sud like substance that digest their meals, spiking bacteria, spreading disease. No bars of soap in order to identify them, but this kid did have a bar of soap, correct? And I can see the tendrils in the picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that's what he's got. That's what he's got. Soap sprite. Got you, my man. Put it in, send it through. Come on now, next! Do, 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 do. Do I have to have one case for each one of these? That's about to be a lot of cases. But... Gamers. Gamers. Accuracy 100% though, bitch! Come on now, on my fifth day? Come on now. This shit is not a meme. -y. This shit is not a meme. -y. I'm too good at this shit, bro. I'm too good at this shit, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on now. <sighs> Since I'm too good at this damn game, bro, y'all already know I had to take my lunch break on my last day shift. Or while we go ahead and read through these emails real quick, what's this shit say? 
this address is no longer active. Hello, you are receiving this email because you've been emailed by this address before. The employee this address is registered to is no longer employed here at HSH as of 430... 90... Wait, 1996, which is tomorrow. Oh, 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 it'll be shut down when we no longer active. Email us uh, for any questions. Congratulations, employee. Your high accuracy rate has awarded you today's daily coupon. The daily coupon is for Hag Hide. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Source cruelty free from the perished and treated with our flower scented formula. These are the best quality Hag Hides you'll find this month only. We'll even throw in an iron wall mount free of charge. Let the whispers keep your bed the safe haven it should be. Sleep easier, sleep safer. To receive your discount, simply type in this code during online checkout. Haggling for deals. Go next. What's this? Let's watch the video. Should I eat my... I probably shouldn't eat my... My lunch during this, but I will, bro. Uh-huh. Thunder Peak is one of America's most dangerous yet rewarding hiking locations. Sorry for talking with my mouth, okay? Uh huh. Bye. Let's see how to prepare. Okay. Smart, 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 uh, hiking techniques. Good plan. Stay hydrated, hoes. What the hell? What the hell? Climbing gloves. You're hiking. Okay, the last two a little suspicious. As a hiker myself, I'm telling you. Watch the trees, gang. Watch the trees, gang. What the fuck? Why? What's in the cave? Oh, it looked dark as a sun bitch in that motherfucker. I'm not eating my sandwich now. I'm not trying to throw that sun bitch. You know what I'm saying? Is there something up there? Oh, that guy's not staying still. 
The cameraman's stupid, he's dead! Oh, I see, they gotta scramble at the end. That's why you need the climbing gloves. Okay, but what about the cave portion, bitch? What the fuck was in there? That's got me bamboozled beyond belief. What the fuck was in the cave, bro? Now, see, that should seem diabolical, bitch! Oh, hell no. Okay, that's by far the creepiest video we've seen so far. Who the fuck is that? Y'all see this bitch on my screen? Who's this? She was nowhere there, was she? That shit seems new. Oh, hell no. Okay, Saturday. Time to go to work. This is an egg salad sandwich, by the way, for anybody wondering. Okay, it's quite tasty. <laughs> but this game, easy as hell for me. Come on now. Normally, I would never eat in a horror game. But this one, I'm too good at. Let's be honest. Come on now, gang. Park employee, lend thine ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. Wait. Wait, sorry, what does this motherfucker say to me? <coughs> Wait, what did she say to me? I have updated the permissions and granted thee access to all the household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. What the hell is she talking about? Why she, she, why is she trying to put me in the dirt, bitch? I'm too good at my job. I'm too good at my job to get put in the dirt. I'm waiting for the first phone call before I start clicking through the shit. Some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. I know it's down there because I can hear it flapping around sometimes when the house is quiet. Tell me what to do to get rid of this thing because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. I found a whole bunch of broken bottles on the floor. Stupid thing is probably getting loaded. Mmm. I know exactly what you got, lady. How old? Now, you've definitely got a wine sprite. Of this, I have no doubt, little winged bitch. Consuming wine, large-eyed winged creatures, translucent skin. Yeah, for sure. 100% that's what she's got. Hang on. I want to look through these other ones first. Hold up. Autumn vines. Autumn vines are vines with orange and red leaves that are known to slowly grow over a house, frequently occurring during the fall. Homeowners with autumn vines often report feeling dizzy, lightheaded, and blissful. Understood. Bed hag. Oh, hell no. Okay, that's some shit I could have done without. Bed hags are large humanoid creatures uh, that look like an elderly woman. They are known to dwell beneath beds, hammocks, and other suspended sleeping apparatus. Homeowners infested with bed hags will sometimes report croaking or wheezing sounds at night and feeling a heavy weight in their chest at night. They are not dangerous to most healthy human adults with small children and humans suffering from breathing problems such as asthma may adversely be affected by their presence. Known to steal the breaths of their sleeping victims at night, causing shortness of breath and sometimes sleep paralysis. Dorcha. What the hell is that? Is the one who delivers. Homeowners experiencing Dorcha commonly report feeling intense, immense dread and a sensation of being followed or pursued. They may also experience visions of great lurking shadows. Will deliver that which it seeks. There is no coming back from deliverance. Dorcha is otherwise harmless to humans it does not seek. To be sought by a Dorcha is to be found by a Dorcha. If you or a loved one is sought by a Dorcha, it is advised to grieve and find peace and acceptance. Oh my god! Uh, so is that what's gonna happen to me? A leprechaun! Wait, that little fucker's ugly! Okay, I definitely got bamboozled by Lucky Charms. That little bitch is not supposed to look like that. That little fucker, ugly as hell! Small humanoids covered in long brown hair. Known for consuming common household valuables such as jewelry and silverware and other precious metals. Hey. 
That is not what a leprechaun sounds like, bitch. I've seen the Lucky Charms commercial. Small humanoid covered in long brown hair, known for consuming common household valuables. Lucid's appetite for precious metals can be caused long term damage, heaters, furnaces. Yeah, right. Okay. Neighbor's doorway. It's a door frame like structure that can appear in basements and cellars. They are known to cause confusion if stepped through, as well as parallelism. Do not cause any direct, uh, but if stepped through, the resulting trailer will unwanted household activity, such as altered behavior and perceived missing memories in the human who comes through the other side. Puka. What the fuck is that ghoulish dog, bitch? <laughs> and watch their homeowners eat and sleep. So they replace the the, 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 the the looks of dogs or cats, and then they and then they watch their owners eat or sleep. Frequently report unusual or frightening pet behavior. Relatively harmless but the discarded bodies how whole pets leave behind can over time create pests. What the fuck? Reanimation. Are any deceased remains of living creatures capable of moving on their own? Homeowners with reanimations commonly report foul smells, soil being tracked inside the home, and large holes in the ground appearing near and around the home. Capable of spreading a variety of dangerous diseases. Oh, here's the thing that has to go with the sprig tree. Spriggans are small green humanoid with leaf-like coatings on their bodies. They are rarely seen in households and reside primarily inside of trees. They are known to act violently upon homeowners when provoked. However, homeowners affected by spriggans commonly report rapid vine growth in and around their homes and feeling like the trees are watching them. A troll? I don't- Oh, it's this little chubby fuck down here. I was like, I don't even see it. I was looking up here at the dress. Giant 12-foot tall nocturnal creatures that normally- are not seen in the home. However, during the winter, they deflate their bodies in order to fit inside of homes and steal warm materials, such as blankets and articles of clothing. Homeowners infested with the troll will frequently report missing clothes and claim to hear shrill sounds of air escaping in the middle of the night. Danger trolls are very dangerous to humans when they are startled thanks to their ability to inflate their bodies to a full height of 12 feet in a matter of seconds. Their skin, despite its flexibility, is incredibly durable and will smash through ceilings of most homes when fully inflated, causing proper damage and injury to anybody in the vicinity. Do not approach a troll. Warlock Remnant. Residual presence often left behind by former warlocks, most commonly inhabiting older households, castles, and underground dwellings. Homeowners experiencing Warlock Remnants. Uh, often report objects moving on their own, sounds of hostile warning whispers, and sighting of a bearded figure in reflective surfaces. Yeah, right! Okay, well, this lady's got a wine sprite, thank God! So let me go ahead and submit her shit real quick. Wow, so these, so all of these, all of these new ones are pretty demonic, okay? All the, all these new fucking shits are pretty demonic. So I guess, I guess we'll just have to see how many of them we, we come across? But yeah, there's definitely some ghoulish creatures on that joint for sure. Damn, look at all these damn shits, bro. What we got? So, uh, I, I think something may have died inside my desk. Your desk? It stinks to high heavens, and something is leaking out of it. I oh. have to lock the door to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell, so I need to know what to do about this as soon as possible. Yeah, no worries. You got, you got wood leaks. You got wood leaks. I don't know what it's actually called, but it's something pretty close. Wood secretions, bitch! Wood creatures, pink viscous liquid material, sometimes wood, mistreated, drip from wood materials, causing sticky buildup, causing rapid, okay, foul odor, yeah, yeah, that's the one, that's the one. Okay, so she's, yeah, she's got wood secretions, nice and easy, all the way to the bottom, send it through, here we go, go next! I think there's someone watching me. Outside, something is moving around in the trees, and I can never get a good look at them, but I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently or if I ate fruit in public or something and told me to call you. Hoping you'll be more helpful. Now this is an interesting one. Let me let me let me let me see the spring again. Yeah, okay, I think this is it. I think this is it. Oh my man, you sir have a spring it! So let me go ahead and send that through for you. Take care of you. Don't trip none. Those trees are watching you. It's true. Okay, and there's a little two-eyed mother in that bitch looking at your ass. Let me listen. To What's this thing sound like? 
Oh, kind of a creepy little fuck, huh? Now, I'm looking out here outside this window and trying to see what the spring looks like, bro. I'm sure I can't tell where it is. I think that just literally a picture of somebody's office. But I'm certain there's probably some kind of ghoulish creature in there if you, like, look hard enough. Maybe. Or maybe there isn't. It could just be a lie. <laughs> it could honestly go either way. I'm not sure. Let's listen. Who this what they want? My brother told me to call this number. All right, I get that every I time. I don't know why. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves the way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? Hmm. This seems a little bit bizarre to me. Please hold. This seems a little bizarre to me. Is it vines? I think this might be sprig vines, to be honest. I think this might be sprig vines. The way she's talking about it growing. Actually, what is autumn vines? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot I got a new vine one. Or blissful. Okay, actually, it's this one. Yeah, because she's really, really blissful. Too blissful. Okay, actually, she's got autumn vines. I was almost wrong about that one. Okay, I was almost wrong about that one. But that's definitely right. That's definitely right. Okay, new call coming in. Hi. Do you know how I got here? Where are you? I'm I should be. Please, I was told that you could help me. My family. They aren't my family. I, I don't know what's happened. Uh, please tell me how to get back to my family. Huh? Please hold. Okay, that sounds like it could be a neighbor door, but I'm gonna have to reread the description. Okay, so neighbor doors are door like structures. Uh, they can appear in basements or cellars. They are known to cause confusion if stepped through as well as parallelism. Neighbors' doors do not cause any direct harm to humans if stepped through. The resulting parallelism will often result in unwanted household activity, such as altered behavior or perceived missing memories in humans who come through the other side. Are tricky to remove without putting one's body through them and potentially triggering a parallel activity. It is advised to utilize removal services. See, it makes me think... That this might be it. I do. I think I think it's... I mean, she said my family is not my family. So she's just confused. And she could be in like, in like a weird neighbor, you know, parallel dimension type shit. I think this is right. This seems like the most likely option to me. Okay. New call coming in. Who's this lady? Hi. Claire. Yeah, there's this awful smell of rotten eggs coming from my dining room. And when I looked to see what it was, I saw this awful, disgusting pile of crap on my dinner table. It's quite big, too which has me worried that whatever produced this might still be in the house. Because who knows how big this thing is. I mean, my dog can't even lay down something that big. Okay, interesting. Please now, hold. now, my first guess was going to be a trash, uh, 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 gnome. Smell of rotten eggs, finding large clumps of fur. I'm thinking she's got a trash gnome. The rotten egg says that to me. The rotten egg says that to me. And the big pile of shit. Okay, so I'm, I'm, think, I'm thinking those two together tell me it's probably a trash gnome. The ones that are going to be tough to remember if the internet goes out are the ones that have, like, made-up names. Hey, yeah, Paul here. Um, I'm not sure what to do anymore. Uh, my kids can't sleep at night. I've been spraying about 50 different kinds of pesticides all over the place, washed and scrubbed all the bed sheets as much as frickin' possible. And every night it's the same story. Bunch of itchy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. I'm fresh out of ideas. Oh, okay. Bunch of itchy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. begging to sleep in Papa's Please bed. Hold. Now that's definitely... Is it the bed hag? She doesn't make him itch though, does she? See, I don't think that's it. But he's been spraying pesticides, so it's probably not bed bugs. Oh, you son of a bitch. It is the fucking bed bugs, goddammit. Solution, bed bugs have developed a resistance to the majority of common pesticides. Therefore, they are quite difficult to remove. Bro, that that's literally all I had to do. I had to just read the part about the pesticides. Okay, let's run next. I've been playing this game for almost three hours. We gotta keep okay. it moving. Do you wanna explain to me what the hell is happening? I called last week to ask why my home heater has been having issues, and nothing's changed after following the instructions you sent me. I know your teeth hurt, but daddy's on the phone right now. Anyway, we're still freezing our butts off over here. 
So tell me what the hell is happening right now so I can get this fixed properly. So his heater's got an issue. Long-term damage to furnaces, heaters, and other common appliances that are not protected. Yeah, this bitch got a fucking leprechaun. Okay, they really, they really go on outside the box with this shit now, bro. They really starting to go outside the box with these son bitches now. Okay, I see. Yeah, right. So they, they really making you work to figure out which one these are, bro. Holy shit. Okay, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. I see where we at. I see where we working. Okay, understood. Understood. I think some pranksters might be giving my wife and I a run for our money. <sighs> Lately, my wife's clothes have started going missing. Troll! At night, I keep hearing this strange whoopee cushion type sound coming from outside. Yeah. I, I tried to scare the kids off by keeping the porch lights on at night and putting out a neighborhood watch sign, but I, th I think they're on to my tricks. Do you have any advice you can send me? Yeah, you've got a troll, literally. Mm -hmm. I'm not oh. saying that like an internet troll. I'm talking about a troll, troll, motherfucker. Hey. Radio trolls are giant 12-foot nocturnal creatures normally seen in the home. However, during the winter, they deflate their bodies in order to get inside the home and steal warm materials such as blankets or other clothing. Best of the troll, missing clothing, and hearing shrill noises of air escaping in the middle of the night. Kind of like a whoopee cushion. Yeah, 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 I got you, my man. I got you, my man. That's, that's the easiest identification I've done all night. Come on, now. Go next. Hello. I saw your commercial, and I thought I would call just in case you might know what's going on. What you got? I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when Don't I heard care. this awful buzzing sound yes, I coming do. from the cupboard. Yes, I do. I looked around inside, but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. My hearing isn't what it used to be, after all. Yeah, no worries, Ooh, Grandma. You got a tea sprite. Don't trip. You got a tea sprite. Oh, and look at that. The fucking internet's down, bitch. Good thing I'm a pop. Good thing I'm a pop. I literally knew that shit immediately. Tea Sprite. I was like, why is this bitch telling me about her Earl Grey? And then I remembered. Earl Grey's an important clue. Send it through. Okay, got you, Grams. Don't even trip. Uh-oh. This is going to be a demonic phone call. Listen in. Hi, we need some medical help. Oh, maybe not. I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already. But he said to call here, so we've been um, having some trouble sleeping. Okay. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started short of breath. The Hag. At the same time, I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma and some particularly severe allergies. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet. So, could you help us out sooner rather than later? Yeah, Please you got a hag. You got a bad hag. Right here. Oh my god, look at the internet still down too. Good thing I'm a high IQ gamer. Good thing I'm a high IQ gamer. That uh, that internet ain't coming back, is it? That internet ain't coming back, is it? That's okay, you got a bad hag. That bitch a hag! Send her to hell. Send her ass to hell. Okay. There we go. Another one in the books. Is my internet gonna be gone for the rest of the time? I have a feeling it might be. I have a feeling it might be. Oh, this motherfucker playing a melody. I can hear that shit. Okay, I do have my internet back. Thank God. Okay, because I was going to say, I probably want my internet back for this one. Because there's a couple of things that make noise inside the walls. I'm thinking it might be a whistling fungi. Let me listen. Now, see, that sounds right. But she said she only heard it at night, which was interesting. Let me hear a recording again. So, uh, I've, so uh, I've been hearing this weird sound coming from the walls. Not exactly sure what it is, but I've been having a hard time sleeping at night because of this sound. I think, I think, I think she's about to get tossed, but that, so that shit sounds a little I've harmonic. It's, it says, it says if you don't shit harmonic, you're gonna get tossed. Not exactly sure what it 
Lady, you got whistling fungi. You gotta get that shit gone, bro. I got you taken care of. I got you taken care of. If you ever hear whistling fungi singing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately. Rarely dangerous, but if they start singing right, you gotta watch the fuck out. Who this? Oh, so I fucked her ass up. Wait, they're telling her to eat it. She didn't say it was food. She said it was trash. She acted like she had a fey feast. Um, hello? Can you help me? What, what do There's you need? There's this terrible smell in my house, and I can't figure out where on earth it's coming from. I think it's upsetting my puppy Meatball, too. He's really been acting up lately. I can hardly blame him. It, it smells so terribly rotten. Please, can you help? Okay, so your dog doesn't like it. It smells like bullshit. Please hold. Hmm, okay, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Now, see, this has me thinking it could be a puka, okay? Because he said the dog's been acting up lately and it smells like dog shit. And pukas are shapeless creatures that commonly inhabit the homes and the shapes and likeness of a household pet. A uh, tendency to replace the pets and live and watch their homeowners eat and sleep. Unusual or frightening pet behavior. Sounds like unusual is what we got. Discarded bodies leave behind over time. Diseases, foul smell intensifies. Okay, this lady's got a puka issue, bro. Don't trip, lady, I got you taken care of. Here we go. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what that lady was on about, but I'm pretty sure it was a trash troll. It must have just fucked her ass up, but she didn't follow my instructions. She didn't follow my instructions. A trash gnome, sorry. Wait, that guy's a rat now. He's the talking rat. It's the fucking talking rat. 92%. 92%. Not 100%, but 92%. Wait, so the talking rat. Talk to me. The talking rat talked to me. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was the last day, bro, but I guess it's not. Here's my coupon for the Glamour Store. Congrats, employee, you're out. Okay, daily coupon, Glamour Stone, Wham Glam, thank you, ma'am. Everybody join the jam! Y'all ever heard that song? Okay, come on now. I'm not reading that shit. Congratulations. We are happy to report that we are most pleased with your labors and are currently making all necessary preparations for your impending dissension, assuming you pass the trial. The soil is fertile. Keep up the great work, and thanks for working through the weekend. Entry browser. Okay, so what's the trial? They want me to do a day without any kind of, any kind of shit. They want me to do this shit with no shit! Is that what they're talking about? They want me to do a Sunday with no log or something. Why are they showing me the logs? Why were they showing me the logs? If, 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 why were they showing me the logs? It seems weird that they had the logs on my main screen. They've never had the logs on my main screen before. Why'd they do that? Thy trial has begun. Huh. That is why. Cause I had to have the Cause I gotta have the shit memorized. Now, good thing I'm pretty good at this shit. We are many. We are above. We are followers of our queen. What are we? We are many. We are above. We are followers we of our are. queen. What are we? What? Followers of our queen. That's probably just normal bees. That's probably just normal bees. They, see, they started me off with a normal one and caught me off guard. So I'm doing the trial right now. Is that good or bad? Showcase thy knowledge. Wait, so you just have to know the shit. You just, you just gotta straight up know the shit. 
Oh my god, and this bitch a riddle demon. Oh my god, and this guy's a fucking riddle demon. I am not living, yet I clatter. I am small, I am weak. I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? I am not living. Please hold. Yet I clatter. I am small and I am weak. I serve my purpose and then I die. I don't understand what that means. I'm gonna guess Housefly, bro. I don't know. Wait! It might be an animation. I think it's actually, I think it is an animation. I think that's right. I don't know if that was right. Forge ahead. I don't know if that was right or not. That's my best guess. Okay, give me next. Holy shit, I cannot believe they expect me to. I am an beggar. I am an encroacher of the dry. I am a friend of the water of the sky. What am I? Please hold. Oh my god, bro. Okay, I, I was not prepared for the fucking riddles. I am a beggar and an encroacher of the dry. I am a friend of the water of the sky. So it likes rain. Is it a, is it a rain nymph? I'm inclined to think it's a rain nymph. I don't know. I don't know. The honestly, the hardest part about this is not even identifying it, but it's, it's identifying what the fuck they're talking about with the riddle. Press on, employee. I don't know if these are good or not. Like they they won't tell me until I'm done, bro. I don't know. I have no. I I I I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm taking my best guesses here. I'm taking my best guesses here. This is my first try. Come on. Come on, riddle master. I am the harbinger of death. I am the harbinger of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. What am I? Please hold. I am the harbinger of death, the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. I think like the only one that for sure kills you is the Dorcha. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm fucking wrong. Rejoice. Am I going down? Oh, wait. I'm watching the dirt. I think maybe I'm going lower if I get it right and higher if I get it wrong. I need, I'll have to watch after the next one. I seek the domains of those who have too much. Step within. Okay, this one's easy. And lose their way. Please hold. Okay, this is the... I need to see it. It's the closet labyrinth. Here we go. So this one is 100% right. Okay, this one is 100% right. So let me see if we go down or up. Let me watch the dirt. Expand thy mind. Okay, so yeah, so I am, I'm going down. I'm going down further towards the, towards the, wait, but this is no longer dirt. This is like, this is, this is something else. I'm somewhere new. I'm descending, but it's getting magical. We are companions of the garden. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. What are we? Please we are hold. companions of the garden. Is it a seedling? I want to say it's a seedling. Again, I don't want to overthink it, but these things are dangerous. And I feel like that's right. I'm Again, I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just going to submit it. If I go back up, I was fine. Let go thy silted soul. Okay, I think I'm still going the right way. I think. I don't know, they haven't fucked me yet. I don't know how many questions there are. I got no clue. I've been playing this game for three hours. This is insane. I, I was not expecting the riddles. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was not expecting the riddles. I think I'm doing okay, but I don't know that that's true. I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? I am Please the dancer. Hold. The bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What the fuck does that mean? Bro, none of those seem right. I, I'm gonna have to ask ChatGPT what this riddle even means. If it tells me what the riddle means, it's not gonna tell me the answer to the thing. 
Let me let me let me see if it'll tell me this, bro. Fire. It's fire apparently. Okay, yeah, that okay, that 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 that's more riddle than it is than it is knowing the game, bro. That's more riddle than I okay, house fires, I guess. House fires, I guess. I would have never got that on my own. Hell no, I wouldn't have got that. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, right. Holy shit. Info successfully sent. Good job. Descend. Okay, I'm still descending. Good Christ! How many questions do I? But this is this this is a mean descension. This is a mean descension. I'm already I've already descended through one whole layer, bro. I'm already on a different planet right now. This is not my forest. I already went through the ground. All right, come on then. What you got? He's, was he talking before? I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. What am I? I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. Please hold. What am I? The seeker. I don't understand this shit, bro. Just fucking ask me a normal question. I'm gonna try a travel gnome, I guess. I don't know. Fuck it. I don't know. I think that's way wrong. I think that's way wrong, but I literally have no idea what this is. I fuck that. I'm probably going back up to the stars, bro. They ain't gonna like that one. See, I didn't move. I didn't descend. I, I, I didn't move. I didn't move that time. So that was clearly wrong. But that, that, that puzzle was fucked up! I literally have no idea what that was. So you don't move you get it wrong. Hello. Hel Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you closely. For all this time, you have been providing excellent and accurate answers to our callers. These acts will not go unrewarded. And I'm pleased to report that you have qualified for a promotion. Please stand by while I prepare thy promotion. What? What? Promotion in progress. Please stand by. Oh, where that bitch promote me? Don't you promote me to hell? The bitch turned me into dirt. The bitch turned me into dirt. Oh my god. You were way hotter than your profile picture! What is this dilapidated 1992 fucking camera angle we looking at here, bro? This shit filmed out of potato. What the hell is she wearing? What the hell is that eyeliner? Don't that bitch know there is a possibility to use too much? She using way too much. She doing too much. Is the good ending or the bad ending? I can't tell. Okay, so let me repeat the question. Was that the good ending or the bad ending? <laughs> Bo! I've never seen a game ending like that in my life, bitch. I've never seen a game ending like that in my life! I mean, I guess I won! I guess I like Loki kind of popped off, went off, did my thing type shit. I don't know, gang. I've never. Seen something like that. I'll click through this in case y'all want to stop to read it. I don't know what any of this is. I'm definitely not going to read it in my own time. But I'll click through it for y'all to see. In case you're interested. Um, 
But wow. Okay, so that game was fucking insane. I've literally never seen nothing like this before. Okay, and y'all gotta let me know what you thought down below. I did this entire gameplay session in one go. Um, I played this game for three and a half hours straight to bring y'all this episode on launch day. So I hope that y'all did enjoy this shit. And if y'all did, make sure you do that standard as you do shit for me. Y'all like the video, you subscribe, and you let me know what else you want to see down below. Because I really do love and appreciate all of y'all coming out to these videos and watching them every single day. Please! Do let me know down below other games that we should check out. Let me know what you thought of this particular gameplay. And I'm going to see y'all tomorrow with another episode. I'm going to need to go drink some tea. This game got me fucked up. Three and a half hours. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.